The EXO's cleverly designed camera plugs into a lightning connector, turning your iPhone or iPad into the display for its 20 megapixel one inch sensor F18 camera. And that's not its only trick. I'm Laurie Grun from CNET and this is the DX01. To use the one, you slide down the cover to turn it on and to pop out the lightning connector, then plug it into your device. If you stick it in upside down, it's good for selfies. DxO's app lets you work in automatic mode or with manual settings. You can shoot DNG RAW files as well as DxO's proprietary Super RAW format. Super RAW files have to be processed on a computer, which the bundled software does automatically when you connect via USB using the supplied software. And it leverages the power of the computer to do a much better job of noise reduction than can be done in a tiny camera. The photo quality is, of course, better than you can get out of an iPhone or iPad, and it does a great job with selfies. In good light, it's about the same as a similar full camera, like the more recent models in the Sony RX100 series. The JPEGs that it produces in low light aren't quite as good, but the Super Raw versions are better. The rotating lightning connector is convenient, if a bit wobbly. The camera doesn't fall out, though. It's also not really fast enough to focus and shoot anything moving faster than a walk. And the time it takes to initialize when you turn it on can be a bit frustrating. Plus, while it charges fast via USB and you can recharge it while you're shooting via a portable power pack, the battery life is poor and it's worse for low light shooting. It's also kind of expensive running $600 in the US and 500 pounds in the UK. But it's a great creative adjunct to an iPhone or iPad if you really feel like spending the money and don't mind dealing with some quirks before the next firmware upgrade. Quirks, you say? You'll have to read about them in my review.